thermoforming technology involves obtaining a desired shape by heating and forming a plastic film or plastic cut sheets. It's an interesting but not easy process, and it requires a lot of experience. Thanks to this technology, you can also find a lot of packaging on store shelves. Today, we will see how the thermoforming process works. For this purpose, we are visiting the production facilities of the family company Poli. First, we are visiting the product design department, because this is where every project begins. Here, all projects of packaging that have to be implemented in production are born. After accepting the packaging design, it's time to prepare the design of tooling which will be used to produce the item. The tooling is created in the CNC department on numerically controlled machines. The complete tool consists of the forming station including mold, plug assist and cooling system, as well as cutting station and stacking station. However, the main part of the tooling is where the shape of the product is created. In this part, vacuum holes of 0.4mm diameter are drilled. Through them, the thermoplastic material is sucked into the mold surface. The holes are so small that they are not visible on the packaging. With the finished tool ready, production can begin. First, we will see how small packaging for the food industry is produced. The film is unrolled and then heated at the first two stations. The temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius makes the film malleable. Then it goes to the forming station. The material is initially stretched and shaped with pressure and vacuum. The material cools down and thus the shape of the detail is preserved. In the next station, individual products are cut out with the die cut. Next, they are picked up and placed by a robot. The moment of forming of the product is clearly visible in machines which produce large-sized thermoformed elements. The product is made of polycarbonate cut sheet of about 8mm thickness. The raw material has high transparency, just like glass. The cut sheet is heated on both sides. Then, with a blow, the flexible material is vacuum sucked into the mold. On a cold form, the material stabilizes. Cooling takes about 180 seconds. After collection from the line, the CNC machine cuts off the excess and mills the edges. On this production line, packaging from printed film is produced. In one cycle, packages of eight different types of product are produced. In order to keep up with the speed of production, the robot picks parts from two cycles simultaneously. A safe stacking system is used here, so that the packaging does not stick to each other. Finally, the products are separated into eight different lines and transported for packing. As part of the thermoforming process, a so-called skeleton is created. It's then transferred to grinders as post-production waste and in the form of flake used again to produce film. Finished products go to the quality control department, which monitors the entire production process. We measure, among other things, dimensions of the finished packaging. When examining the raw material, we also check the coefficient of friction. The product must have a certain slide, which is extremely important in the automatic packaging process. Poli produces packaging with a thickness of 0.15 mm to 12 mm. They are used in industries such as food, cosmetics, pharmaceutical, technical and automotive.